this was a news today in Israel. So, in the news, Israel may face that the International Court of Justice in Hague. UN committee claims against Israel that she commits crimes against humanity on Gaza border. The UN Human Rights Committee report, which submitted the finding to the UN Human Rights Council, claimed that Israel may have committed war crimes. They demanded that the matter be examined by International Court of Justice in the egg. Now this was the first news. Maybe it is better to say maybe this was the first one. The Israeli Prime Minister is liable to stand trial for crimes he committed. Yeah, this was the first one. It mean it is interesting, boss. <laughs> The claims, uh, you know, and let us see some comparison and also important teachings about it. So, this is by the way, you know, the international act. Well, now, what the table says. So, in the table, we looked for the Hebrew word um, Savua, United Nations, which is uh, hypocrisy, yeah. Not so it with Sabu, it means that for matters to do with Arabs, Patah, Hamas, for but when you come to Israel, always blaming the now why it is simple. So this is what exactly what the Torah says. Children of Ishmael in all, most of the countries they are Islamic. From the children of Ishmael. And the others are European, yeah, definitely friends of the Arabs, you know. And we know quite well, it's interesting what the Torah says here, that they are Sunni Israel, they are hating Israel, you know, no doubt. We can see it clearly. And they are yeah, Israel, the enemies, you know, try to turn to them troubles, interesting. So what we learn from this? We learn from this that unfortunately, you know, People come, especially, you know, great people, ministers and so on, come to resolution coming from their ulterior motives, yeah, for interest and so on, exactly like here, because of hatred to Israel, because of enmity to Israel. So this uh, United Nations, clearly you can see how the relate to Israel, you know, they relate to the Arabs, fighting, this is so clear, how ulterior motives and hatred, interest can change people's decision, resolutions. Now this exactly, unfortunately, happened with Netanyahu, clearly, you know, the leftists and uh, <laughs> Supreme Court, it's so clear from the news because they are hating him, you know. The leftists, they want to be the rulers, they don't like what Netanyahu is doing, you know, they want to be more yen to the Arabs and so on. We know quite well that the leftists. But the teaching is amazing because we believe in divine providence. So if in the news comes these two together, and the, <laughs> the common denominator, the denominator is hatred. Yeah, hatred, jealousy, which unfortunately brings the wrong solutions. Now, you know, according to the Jewish law, it's so important to have the right witnesses and so much to look after justice, you know, but here, you know, interest and so on, you know, make them demonstration against this, uh, against this uh, advisor, you know, in Israel, they say, shoot blame me. They don't have patience. Yeah, you know, quickly, quickly. They only want Netanyahu out and the left is in. Frightening. This is how uh, things are going in Israel. But we believe that always there is divine providence. And the divine providence wants to teach us how our pure mercy and interest can change and to bring to the wrong solutions. It's an important and significant table for all time.